Hello, my friend. Uh, my name is Monica, and this is Aya. Hi, Aya. And we are going to be doing a yin yoga class today that will help us release anger that we've been maybe holding in our body. Maybe it's something that happened just a few moments ago, yesterday, or the last week. So when you're ready, let's get to it, and I'll see you on the mat. So let's start out today in child's pose. So we could do a wide-legged child's pose by putting your uh, knees on the outside of the mat and then coming down, uh, extending your arms to the front of the mat. And as we settle into the pose, you can rest your forehead on the ground or you can keep your chin on it, however you feel most guided. And today you'll be hearing a little rain in the background it's a little moody today and with the theme of the rain we're gonna focus on letting go of anger letting go of frustration or anything that's been bugging us so the rain is like a symbol of a cleanse to let go so as you tune in to the rain to the sounds focus on your hips right now trying to relax into this pose and as we're going to be doing more of a yin series, we're going to be holding the poses for about three to five minutes, however long we feel the need to stay in a single pose. So breathe in through the nose, and as you exhale, try to relax your hips. Try to sink your chest more into the ground. Try to sink those hips to your heels. And listening to the sounds around, maybe it's raining for you too, maybe it's nice and sunny. Perhaps you want to just listen to some metal music or something more dramatic, just to help you bring in that anger that you've been feeling, to really bring it to surface. What we're going to do is we're going to try to become one with it become one with these sensations because whether we are angry or happy they are just emotions we just have to become aware of them to help release them know that they are one and the same whether it is anger or happiness it is still a sensation in the body in our body so again, breathe in through the nose and exhale out. Inhale and exhale. Just sink a little bit further into the earth. Thanking the earth. Allowing it to support us. To release our anger into the earth. Into the space around us. And letting earth ground us. Breathe in through the nose and exhale out. In through the nose and exhale out. And try to relive that memory of anger that you felt this week. Maybe it was just right before this practice. Something that really truly triggered you. That made you feel off balance. That made you feel inauthentic. Really try to dig and bubble it up into the surface right now. And can you see and notice where in your body you hold this sensation of anger? Where do you feel tightness right now? Where do you feel heat coming out of the body? Is it in the shoulders? Is it in the hips? Is it in your heart? Or is it in your forehead? Is it in your head space? Really try to sit with this emotion of anger and notice where in your body it's bubbling up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Very good. And then slowly you're just gonna come out of the pose. You're gonna come into a tabletop position. We're just gonna bring the stomach down, look up, and then round yourself in. Just doing a few counter poses here, just to get that spine open up for our next pose. And then curl those toes and bring yourself up into a down dog. 
just coming into a transition pose. I'm just gonna pedal out your feet here, just warming up that body. So bring your heels down to the ground and then release them, pushing through the palms of your hands. Now let's bring the right leg up into the sky and bring it to the outside of your mat. I'm gonna do a lizard's pose. So bringing your weight more to the outside of your mat and lowering that left leg. You can either curl the toes if you need some support for your knee or you can extend it down so that way you can go a little bit further into the pose. Now, you wanna focus here on your chest. Make sure your chest is nice and high as we lower ourselves to the ground. So bringing yourself, your forearms down. Now, if you can't reach there, this is perfectly fine. You wanna focus on your psoas muscle here and also extending out. So if you are gonna be upward in this position, you can just gently press that right palm on the right knee. And as if you're opening up the whole psoas muscle, the whole hip, and then look up. If you wanna go even deeper, you're gonna extend the right hand up to the sky or even around your back. That way it helps to open up that chest. So breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. You can even grab a block as well or put your hand into more of a fist position just to help support your wrist. So breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Looking up over the right shoulder, just slightly up to the sky. And again, when we were working on focusing on that anger of where it's bubbling up, right now we've transitioned into a new pose. So let's try to locate an opposite sensation of the anger. So try to find some calmness in the body or a happy memory or a time where you just felt more balanced in your life. And the pose here might become a little bit intense. So really try to focus on that opposite sensation. Where do you not feel tightness? Where do you not feel discomfort? Try to locate that in your body. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. You're doing great. Try to relax that hand, try to really not put so much pressure onto that wrist. And that might mean to just readjust the wrist. Maybe you wanna come on down just a little bit, just to help alleviate that pressure. And then you can slowly come back up again. Really focusing on that left psoas muscle. You can shake a little bit to the right and to the left. Yin is all about becoming one with the pose really tuning into our body to how it feels to where it feels soreness and tightness where we've been lacking movement in our body this past week i've been focusing a lot on painting and i actually haven't really been doing yoga too much and right now i can really feel it in my psoas muscle i'm usually standing a lot so the movement or the lack of movement really makes my tight hips really tight. So breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And let's hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And let's bring our hips back, bringing the right leg in and we're actually gonna come down and sit on our bums. Doing that counter pose here. If this feels uncomfortable for your knee, maybe just extend the whole, both legs out. And just try to adjust yourself as you're here. Keeping the right foot flexed and we're just gonna do a small twist. So taking the left hand across and then reaching out to the side. So once again, focusing on that chest, lifting the chest up and breathing into the pose. 
breathing into the space inhale and exhale inhale and exhale you can bring your hand over the head and really focusing on that chest making sure that you're not slouching focusing on that nice posture that beautiful posture of yours reaching over the head and bending through the low back so we're not bending through our shoulders and lift the chest and lower through the low back very good keeping that right foot engaged you might feel that your your leg it just naturally wants to just turn to the side but really keep it engaged help you with that whole posture engaging through the whole body breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out very good so as you were locating an opposite sensation from anger in your body earlier let's try to go back and forth between anger and happiness or from tightness to ease so where in your body do you hold that anger where in your body do you hold your happiness you just rotate back and forth between the two and if nothing is coming up that's okay just focus on your breath and focus on the pose and just lengthening and deepening into the pose as you notice when we were in one of the poses a little bit longer we're able to extend we're able to go deeper into it within a few moments our breath is key here as our breath is the one that will help us to expand our muscles expand our body and make us more flexible breathe in and breathe out and slowly come on out you can just move your shoulders a little bit and then we're just going to come back into that downward facing dog again just bringing your heels down to the earth bringing your knee closer to the earth and just pedaling out the legs noting where you feel the tightness and we're going to do the opposite side so let's bring the left leg up all the way to the sky and then bringing it to the outside of your mat extending out looking down at the right leg make sure it's nice elongated and straight and you can lower the back leg or you can curl it it's completely up to you and if you want you can go lower yourself completely to the earth grounding yourself here and if it's too much remember we can just stay up here i'm gonna stay up here as well with you so just lightly pressing the left palm into the left knee breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth and you can make that right hand into a fist that way it helps you elongate that spine or you can grab a block and help you lift your chest even further so the key here again is our right psoas muscle that we're working on the right front of the hip so send your breath to this area send your breath here so that way you can relax into that pose or this pose breathe in and breathe out and if you want to you can just rock side to side maybe forward and back a little bit just really getting used to being in this pose really getting used to the sensation And did you locate that happiness in your body? Where do you feel ease? Where do you feel good inside? And then did you find your anger? And again, we're gonna keep going back and forth between the two emotions. So try to locate the first, the happiness, and then the anger. And as you're in this pose, and as you're going back and forth, back and forth, try to merge them into one sensation. So just feeling both at the same time and noticing how they act on your body. Just noticing how you feel when you feel both. Are they one and the same? You're still in this one body here. You're still just you present in this moment. They're both just memories. They're both just sensations in your body. So try to look up and keep your chest high 
In whatever variation you are in this pose, feeling the oneness in your body, feeling the earth, feeling the support from the earth, asking earth for support as well. Earth is always here for us, but we're not always present. We're sometimes in the future or in the past. It's very easy to just slip away from the present moment. And when we ask Earth for its support, we are here in the present. We are here enjoying the elements, whether it's the rain or sunshine or wind, or listening to any birds or sounds. Really feel into the present moment right now. Feel into your surroundings. Asking Earth for support, lifting our chest up, asking Earth to support us and lift us up raising our vibration, raising our wholeness. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And let's hold for five, four, three, two, and one. And let's slowly bring that left leg in. And we're gonna do the same thing as before. We're just gonna sit down elongating that left leg and again if this is too much for your knee you could just bring both legs out but if you're okay here we're going to take the right hand take it to the outside and extend outward going into our twist which also helps our digestion it's helping also our abdomen muscles as we're leaning over, we're helping them to get massaged, to get activated. And again, engaging that left leg, flexing the foot, lifting the chest up, smiling, because I know you can smile, and extending that left, leg, left arm out. So you don't want to be slouching the hand, you don't want to be not activating your fingers, really try to extend through the fingers really feel each finger and feeling the skin being stretched out this is how you know you have activated it again bringing yourself forward through the low back without slouching we're lifting ourselves up we're smiling we're enjoying the moment we're asking earth for support we are here in the present moment together. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then going back to our theme of releasing anger, as we have asked Earth to help support us in, this, in these poses, Let's ask Earth to take away our anger. So we're gonna bring a little white light to the top of our head. And this white light is gonna be our cleansing. It's gonna be absorbing our anger or the anger that we've felt, felt recently. And as this white light is hovering over our, over our head, it's absorbing that anger. So it's sucking out from our legs our knees, our hips, our stomach, our heart, our throat, our mouth, and our thoughts. It's sucking out all of that anger, all of that negativity. So just sit here, you can close your eyes and just really feel from your toes all the way up to your head, just that anger being sucked out. Just, you, know, you can even make that sound if you want to. Just really allowing the body to let go of your anger and then you can bring your hand over the head keep activating you can even hover your hand over the top of your head just really feeling the energy being released out from your head absorbing it and as you're ready to release all of this energy that has been built up just just send it out to the earth send it out as you're releasing it, just feel your ears, try to wiggle your ears, move them up and down, maybe wiggle your body a little bit, just helping that release, wiggling out your toes, breathe in 
and breathe out just feeling the lightness of your body feeling yourself being more connected with the earth releasing that energy and thanking earth for helping you release it then let's bring both legs out if they're not already shaking out your legs here we're just going to touch our ankles and our knees ankles and knees focusing on that breath taking the deep inhale and exhale out through the mouth just releasing any extra energy any extra anger or anything that's been really bothering you so really lift the chest on your inhale and exhale out inhale and exhale again inhale lift the chest exhale release down good and let's come on down into a butterfly savasana in a way so we're going to extend our legs out coming down slowly and then extending the legs even more you can bring your hands all the way out in front of you or out to your side however you feel this is going to be our final pose so you can move your hips a little bit side to side here just getting ourselves situated thanking our body for the release thanking the earth thanking the ground you can just gently rest your palms down as I say a final few words to help you release the anger from inside you can close your eyes and again just listen to your surroundings listen to what's around maybe even listen to your body perhaps it wants to do just a little bit more movement so make any final adjustments to make yourself more comfortable inhale expand the belly and exhale try to sink yourself more into the ground into the earth inhale and exhale inhale and exhale and as you're here you still have some some anger bubbling up with your breath try to release that energy from wherever you feel it and send it out through the feet so as you breathe breathe in new energy Really exhale anything else that's stuck in your body let it travel through your body and out through the feet inhale and exhale really feel your excess energy exiting out through the body feeling that motion feeling feeling the excess energy releasing inhale and exhale and whenever you feel either later today or tomorrow or next time you feel a bit angry just try to stop where you're at look up look at your surroundings take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale that energy out through the mouth really feel in your body where you feel that anger bubbling up where is the origin of that anger coming from? Is it really just in your thoughts? Or is it really someplace stuck in your body? Bring your breath to that area. Send your breath there. And ready, when you're ready, come back into your body, to your present state with your breath. And then go about your situation again from a more balanced state from a more conscious state being more self-aware and then taking the next action it's really easy to continue your anger when someone else is angry when someone else is bickering at you but it is up to you to stop it it's up to you to use your breath it is you that can bring yourself back to the present state inhale and exhale inhale 
and exhale. And when you're ready, you can start wiggling out your hands and your feet and rolling yourself over to one side. And then sitting yourself up. And as I'm adjusting my mic, you could bring your hands to your heart. You can even hear the little thunder. See, even Earth is telling us it's time to release the anger from inside. It's time to release us and bring yourself to a new present state. So again, one final inhale and exhale, release it all. And if you felt the benefit or release from this class, be sure to share with just one person and I'll see you again next time. Aloha. Thank you.